Yeah, yeah, what it is, people? It's your boy, Doggy Diamonds. You know, Doggy Diamonds, no filter. I put out an APB. Yeah. I went on motherfucking Facebook. I made phone calls. I did everything I had to do to get this man to my right, your left, King motherfucking Just here. And then King Just come, and he bring a, a, a extra surprise. Yes, yes. Pop the brown hornets in the building. What's so. going on? What's going it's on? It's real Staten island up in here right now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm taking the ferry back in the days when I went to fucking... PS thirty, I mean, um, what I went to fifty seven. No, no, I went 49. to PS thirty one. Oh, okay. okay, you went to thirty one, and I went to twenty nine, which is a smart school with the white kids. Okay, mm. all right. And then I went to IS sixty one. Alright, you know right. so, was going around. Yeah, I was in. Yeah, I was in Staten Island. And shit like that. That's what it is. So yeah, so um, King Just, what's going on, man? Um, talk to me. You know, same old, same old, man. We we back at it again. We doing our thing. You know, Staten his land. We 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 at it again. Yo, you um, damn man. When you came on to the scene, I ain't know who the fuck you was. Mm-hmm. Could you give people a little bit of history? Because there's some people that got it misconstrued. Like when you came in the game, you was trying to sound like this one. You was trying to sound like this one. You okay. was down like you was down with this person, and then they didn't know who you was down with. Right, right. Get him. Who is King Just? Well, King Just was a, a artist, rapper, you know, um, from from Staten Island, New York, Killer Hill, one hundred three hundred four, and um, I grew up around you would as the as the world would know as the clan Wu Tang yes, clan. Wu-Tang you clan. have uh-huh. like your Method Man's, your Capadonas, your Raekwons, you guards, and your Inspector Dex. Um, these were cats that you know grew up in my hood. We were always rhyming, testing each other's skills and stuff like that. And eventually, we made through. You know what I mean? Staten Island got put on the map. Uh, Protect Your Neck drop. After that, Shaheen drop with uh, On, on and, and On. on. Yep. You know what I mean? That's where you That's his there. clan. Yeah, his yeah, side. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Side. that's on their side right there. And then right after that, I dropped The Warrior's Drum, uh-huh. which is, you know, my claim to fame right now. The Warrior. Hey Yah Ho. Now, when you first came out, people were saying, yo, he sound like ODB. Was that with the tone? Was that um, your sound? Or like, you, you understand what I'm saying? Or was it was it people reaching with that shit? I mean, you know what it was? They heard words like Shaolin. Okay. They, 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 and, and then at that time, the vibe of the music was sort of similar. Okay. I never sounded like ODB and, you know, wouldn't want to like you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah, yeah. like I I the words that I say you know you were able to hear me clearly versus ODB he had a slur to his shit mm-hmm. or you know whether he was using a drunken style or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. you know me I I spoke clearly and I I spoke out loud and I'm very animated and upspoken so clearly maybe maybe the energies was maybe similar I thought it was just the chorus was okay. similar but then when you drop. Uh, no flows on the rodeo. Right, right. You was Easy Mo B. King Just. Like if if anybody had a doubt of who you, they was saying yo he want to be like trying. No, this right. man was his own man with that joint. Well, if you checked out the album Mystics of the God, which was my album when I dropped in '94 on Select Records, uh huh. The album was nothing like sounding yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying they, as yeah. far as what the clan was sounding like. You know they more was more you know Chinese with it or you know martial arts with it. And for me, like, we were more hood with it and we were more, how, how can I say, organic with it, where we, the things that we came up with was right there, right there in our home. Like, when we when I talked about the horror, I was talking about the building that we was at. When I was talking about the gun things and things that was going on, we was in there. We was living there. So, and and it was Black Fist, right? Yes, sir. Who who was Black Fist? Um, two, two colleagues of mine, uh, Marcus Peak, Keith Darling. Okay. Um, two guys from the hood that you know wanted to see a, a, a dude like me win. Yeah, and then and then um, recently, like mm-hmm. I had seen shit on the internet, you was hillside scramblers. Yeah, well, Hill, hillside scramblers is something that I came up with for my squad that was 
messing with Yui at the okay. time. Okay, yeah, Yui yeah. Yui was coming out. Um, he had an album. He wanted to put some of the people from my hood on there. And, like, the name that they had, I really wasn't feeling. So when I came through and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a part of this. Yeah, I got we come just going to have to change that name. And yeah, yeah, sure yeah, enough, yeah. you know, Hillside Scrambler. Shout out to my man London because that's where I got that okay, from. Okay, yeah, yeah, From my yeah. man London. So he done gave me that and he was like, yo, run with that. Hillside Scramblers, that's what it is. And from there, we took off with that. So you 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 in Staten Island on Wu Tang? Not everybody from Wu Tang is in Staten Island, but some of the core members is there. How come you never collaborated with them back in them times though? Um, Was that politics? You know, oh, okay. You 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 got politicians over here. You got Hillary over here. You got Trump over here. So at that 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 time, you know, the Republicans wasn't dealing with the Democrats. The Democrats, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what so, fucked me up? Because you said y'all did the ciphers. Oh yeah, of in course. The hood. I mean, yeah, like that was that was normal, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it was the powers that be that probably didn't want to see that work out as it should. And then you, then well, the forefathers of rap in Staten Island is definitely the Force MCs became the Force MDs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Trisco, Trisco. Um, definitely, you Mercury. know what I'm saying? Mercury. Right. You know what I'm saying? TCD. TCD. Right. TC singing on that um. Ghostface project, man, was like, woo, that mm -hmm. just give you the chills right there. Yes, sir. But that's what really put Staten Island on the map for people right. who don't know. Singing right. Let Me Love the You Force on MCs. the MCs. Yeah, but remember, they was going all around New York City burning dudes. Taking them, taking them out, mm -hmm. taking out everybody. Go, going just, up to the Bronx and man, yeah. they was taking them out. Mm -hmm. The, the Force first, MCs. And bringing the singing and the rap to the game. They was the right. first ones to, the first to mesh one. that. From out of Staten Island, New York, they messed, they messed the hip-hop with the R&B. Yes, sir. And the singing Let Me Love You on the ferry. Mm -hmm. You know plus what I'm many saying? More, plus many more hits that they had that never really came out. They, they was definitely entrepreneurs and what they was doing. For so, so that's the Paul Kill side. Right. Then you go five minutes away. <laughs> you go down Targi. You go whatever street you want to go down. the Broad. And now you hit Stapleton. Mm -hmm. Now, you got another member of Wu-Tang that's from Stapleton, Ghostface, where they shot the uh, stand-up video. Well, they shot, they shot several different videos in Stapleton or whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. you know. And, like, um, when, you, when you think about Staten Island and you think about Stapleton and Paul Kill, this is Pop the Brown Horn is speaking, one of the forefathers of... of this MC stuff on Staten Island. To me, Wu Tang stands for We United to Achieve New Goals. Okay. And, and, and why I say that is because Stapleton and Paul Kill, we 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 was rivals. For a the long project, time. the projects is like you said, is a five minute walk, ten minute walk. So as we were growing up as kids, there was a rivalry being built before our generation. Mm -hmm. You had the Paris crew, you had the BCC, DMD, mm -hmm. and so forth and so Black. on. So in a wreck, you know what I mean? So there was always competition between Stapleton and Paul Kill, whether it be fighting, whether it be rhyming, whether it be whatever it was, football. We we was each other's measuring stick. It was a for big everything. graffiti. Um, well, we the graffiti yeah, we had. We had Gando grills. I remember Braze. Yeah, Gando. You had Lask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had, you had different. Elements of yeah. GL Kings, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Staten Island had hip hop. That's why I want people to know yeah. the hip hop culture DJs, was in Staten Island. Graffiti and MC was definitely on Staten Island. Who was the DJ? Stevie D, right? Well, nah, that's uh, that was Doctor Rock. Dr. Rest in Rock. peace. He was he was the DJ for the Force MCs. That's Dr. What, you Rock. know what. Dr. I always, I always think of Stevie D and Mercury. I always think about the rap and shit. That's yeah, right, right, that's right. Doctor yeah. Rock was Rock. the official yes, yes. DJ. For the he was on the album MCs. cover like this. And exactly shit. My with bad. the afro, yeah. yeah rest definitely. in peace, to Doctor Rock. You know, but yeah, like when we had Stapleton, we were rivals. Uh huh. So when the Wu Tang was formed, or whatever the case may be, because Wu Tang was in existence, you know, it really had before a start. Rap it group. had its yeah. Before the rap group, there was a mm. movement of Wu Tang, mm. and the plant, the the seed was planted in Stapleton. Then the grain. The, the grain, grain. <laughs> Stapleton, yeah, yeah. yeah. The grain. You know, that's the you know. grain. That's, that's why what, he said, they'll go against the grain, right. the grain. He's talking about Stapleton. So right. the seed was planted in Stapleton, and then when you had individuals like RZA, 
who was on Tommy Boy and so forth and so on. When it didn't blast off, he came back, and that's when the ciphers was involved. Okay. Before Wu Tang was was went worldwide, there were ciphers that went on from the rec room to out in the streets in the corner to to the cave, the wave, mm-hmm. the consequences, Park Villa. Mm-hmm. We were all sharpening and getting our MC skills out in the street going against each other or just having fun with it. It was yes. a, it was a yes. fun time. You know what I mean? Then what happened was the politics got involved. And when you sign contracts, that's why individuals like King just didn't harmonize with the clan because contracts got involved. So when everybody had to sign contracts and you deal with publishing and production, you know, the KJs of the world or the Brown Hornets of the world maybe didn't fit in to say, you know what? I'm going to write a song and only get 5% of my own publishing. Uh, I'd, rather just, uh, yeah, I'd rather just stay on my own thing with, <laughs> with the Black Fist and keep my publishing or whatever. It, it, we didn't fit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we was a part of the whole movement of Staten Island, the movement. That's why when Wu-Tang first came out as a clan, when they moved to different boroughs and all, they was two, three hundred deep because we was, moving with, we was moving with the whole new Stapleton Park Hill, New Brighton, West Even Brighton. Even some white boys. White was West Brighton, right. We, we, <laughs> we moved the whole Staten Island. Everybody yeah, yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. yo, we... it's time that the forgotten borough be heard. Mm. Now... They was the first voice... To really get out there after the and for some C's. No, but in you know, the new era, in the new era, in the early nineties, yeah, they and we, and we helped propel them to to get that worldwide acclaim. But then you also was a part of an organization that had Wu in the name. Well, and let me break that GP down. GP Wu. So me, I'm like, gonna break down. Go ahead. To, I'm gonna I'm break like, that hold down. Before he say that, okay, he clearly told you that Wu Tang stood for we yeah, unite yeah, it was to acronym. achieve new we, goals. Uh-huh. Right, we united That's because. Stapleton and Park Hill Mers. And, and the reason why it was called GP Wu uh-huh. mm. is because GP Glad the people. and Wu yeah. both started in Stapleton. Mm. So that's the only reason why it was GP Wu. So when we signed the MCA, we really went to Hank Shockley and Daddy O, and we was like, yo, we GP the grain. But they were like, yo, if GP, Gladiator Posse, and Wu Tang both started in Stapleton, we might as well be GP Wu and let the world know that everything really started from Stapleton. So y'all GP Wu, mm. y- y'all 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 part of the history of all. It's, they messed everything, but I don't think the world was ready to 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 take all that in in, in one pill. They yeah. was like, oh, they they biting off Wu Tang. How could they be GP Wu when Wu Tang over? See, it was like you know what I mean. It was like. We was piggybacking off a Wu Tang clan, yeah, but the yeah. clan is nothing but the clan from out of a Wu Tang movement that was Makes on sense. Staten Island. Makes sense. And GP was Gladiator Posse. And, Je- and GP was Gladiator Posse. Grain produced. Shout out to Bebo for the Grain book too. Well, shout out to Bebo for the Grain book. Shout out for the Gladiator movement, the Wu Tang movement, and, and, and everybody that played their, their part. Yeah, but the Grain book, yeah, touched on. Certain things that was happening during that era and during but that it's, time, but it, that's the surface. It's deeper shit. Oh, know. it's yeah, deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, for your yeah. book. Yeah, one day yeah, for one your day. movie, right? Yeah yeah, 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 exactly. So I, I remember growing up. Um, you was from Stapleton. You was Park Hill. Staten Island was very, very segregated. That motherfuckers didn't rock growing up when I was out there, but now the music hits. It made everybody form a faction. So when I seen King Just and I seen Pop together, I was like, I never known them for having issues or anything like that. But they making music together. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? I wish that everybody went back to where it originally was supposed to go mm-hmm. of everybody making music together. Right, right. Right now, 2016, what made y'all come together and say, yo, let's knock out a project? It was better late than never. Me, uh, the Brown and, and the Emperor and the King, we have history that goes way back. Okay. Like I said, before the Wu era, we, we, knew, we knew each other. It's just that the politics, 
politics never allowed us to make an album together. He was doing his own thing. I was doing my own thing. And like I said, when you sign contracts and when you, you know what I mean, when you're rolling with your own individual crew, we always, we would see each other. It was always love. That's my brother right there. Mm -hmm. We from Staten Island. It, it was never like we bumped into each other. It was any animosity. It was like, I was all, when I when I heard Warriors drumming, when I heard, I was so happy for him because I was like, yeah, we gonna make it. Staten yeah, Island, yeah, yeah. we yeah. like, we. I looked at Staten Island like Atlanta there was so much talent out there definitely but the world never really got to see it at, it at its at its strength because of the politics of the game the world only allowed Wu-Tang to come out of Staten Island but you had the King Justice you had the Brown Hornets you had the Shaheems you had you had other pro uh, projects that had individual talent that was coming but it never got to flourish to its full of, fullest capacity because they would only allow Wu Tang Clan to represent Staten Island, but it's very diverse. Mm. Yeah, on I remember Staten names Island. like Now Born Clan. Now Born yes. Clan. Oh, it's different. It's a, yeah, right. different. Everybody, every right. every neighborhood had a crew. Exactly. Yes, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Every exactly. every neighborhood had a crew. Definitely that. Shout out to Richmond Terrace, too. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, yeah, um, right. Shout so out to the whole Staten Island. Yeah, the whole Staten Island, man. Even, but for me, you know, like, like he said, it was overdue. Like, at, you know, it, it was time. It, it was that the stars was aligned. And it, and it was our time for us to say, okay, look, if they, you know, it's not being represented right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Staten Island like, as a whole. Right now. Right. You know right what I'm in saying? 2016. And, I, and I'm not knocking those that do put out joints and shit like that, because I, I like I like some of Ghost joints. I like some of Kappa shit. Like, I like nigga shit, but as a whole, niggas is not putting things together like how it should be. And it's like, I felt like we, we lost our, 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 our little... How could I say? Because our you got, movement, uh, right? Because you the got mo meth. the mojo. The shine. You, got, you got meth. Right. Who who I I definitely would say would could lead it, but he, you see he's going into the acting and no no you know no yeah, knocking yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. That's what's up. Like you, especially when you make that transition, and that's what you're supposed to do. You ain't supposed to stay stagnated. But I just feel like for us, it was time for us to show them, you know, that that our sound live. the sound hasn't died out. That we still relevant. There's no real identity and face on Staten Island and so forth. The emperor and the king to get together, mm. just to forefront the movement that still exists on Staten Island. Who better than hmm. the, the classic veterans from Staten Island to say, you know what? We still out here. That we was still, from the golden era. Don't, we, we, don't get it we, we, we from the golden era. We still in existence. We still we still put words together. We still mm -hmm. relevant in, in the Staten Island landscape of making music. You know what I mean? This is not something that we just dies out and you you give up. This is who we are. We MCs. Could y'all shout out some um un, unsung producers from Staten Island? Because people always think RZA, but it was more producers on Staten Island. Shout out Island. to Armin Ness. Yes, yes. Shout out to 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 what the Armin Ness do? Let them know. Let them know. Well, Armin Ness, Armin Ness has Armin Ness has an arsenal of things, but Armin Ness produced. The, the majority of Shaheen. On and on, definitely. On and on. Armin Ness produced me, Black on Black Crime. Ooh. King Just, uh, Warriors uh, Drum. Warriors oh, he drum. did some smokers then. Yo, yeah, yeah, Follow yeah. Me Up. Mm -hmm. he, like I said, he did a bulk of my solo project as well as touching. My solo project was uh, The Underground Emperor. He touched on GP The Grain's album. That was on MCA. Mm. He touched on the Grave Diggers. Yeah. You know, he enlightened. Uh, he touched on the UMCs. Yeah. With Haas, yeah. Uh, Haas and Kim when they came out with blue cheese and stuff of that nature. So he was. He's definitely one of the 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 the, the, the Godfathers. Now, when you say Kim, they don't know that's well, Ky Oil. Oh yeah, NY same Oil. dude. Same yeah, dude. Yeah, same dude. And yeah, then Haas dude. became. Phantom of the Beats. Beats. Right. Phantom right. of the Beats. He did Magic Stick for 50 right. Cent. Right, right. And Staten and, Island, and, damn. And they're still active. Staten Island is in the building. It's, it's the forgotten borough. It's slept on. But definitely, we've been in the building. We put our work under, in. Yeah. We put our work. So yeah. we don't want... The, we don't want... That's why the Emperor and the King got together. Because it's like, there's no reason to let that, that star fade out. We want to bring the light back and help bring... For the for ourselves and for the up and coming talent that might be right. you know that might be coming through. Well, you know it's funny. As long as I got a platform, I will never forget my political ties to Staten Island. That's, that's why up. I sought that's you out. Nah, and the dopest say you said Pop was with me. I said, oh shit, I got a I got a double whammy right there. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Because Staten Island definitely contributed to hip hop more than what you see. It is more 
than what you were given. And I feel like the people was robbed oh, yes, of the definitely. true talent that still exists and resides in Staten Island. Because it ain't over. But it's that's coming, why the Emperor and the King, coming. that's yeah. why we got together and we made the, our new album, B.O.B.H., Best of Both Hoods, Stapleton, Paul Kill Collaboration. That's why we made the new album, to let, them, to let the mass people know that we still here, we still relevant, we still doing this. Where can they get this album at? You can go to iTunes, you can go to chambermusic.com, you can go, it's in stores everywhere, log yeah, everywhere. on, you can All log on, on. You, can, you can copy it on the internet or whatever, we got. We brought you up a hard copy, show the people, you know. This is how it looks, so when you see this cover right here, Best the, of Emperor both hoods, the, the Emperor and the King, the Emperor and the King, I'm going to put, put the actual pictures in there and go you see the back. It. Cop that right there because it's it's it's, it's real hip hop. First of joints. all, if you're from Park Hill, cop it. If you're from around the world, this if is hip hop. If you're from Staten Island, cop it. If, if you're from, from Stapleton, cop around it. the world. West, if you yeah, if, no, if, I mean, if, if you're a true hip hop lover, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cop right. the album. Ch- yeah, iTunes, to keep it stat, Staten Chamber Island Music. Only. Like we understand New Brighton, West Brighton. Shout out to all of y'all, the harbor, the port. But yo, like it's, it's worldwide when it comes to that. What, man. Right now, um, is any features on here? Nah. Cause I don't see no fear. I'm like, yo, nah. I don't it's see just the no emperor and the that's, king for right now. And the no, king. That's, that's what's up. And, and it's like we did it that way because we didn't want nobody to feel like we needed someone to stand. Living father do strength. We didn't need yeah. right. We don't. We, we could reach out to the ghost faces, the Capadonnas, the. the What's up, everybody? It's Doggy Diamonds. I created a Patreon account. The Patreon account is Doggy Diamonds No Filter. I created a Patreon account so you can help me on my journey creating this podcast and keeping this content flowing on YouTube. As everybody know, YouTube has been on an ad strike, so it's been really, really rough providing content without getting paid for it. So that's basically what's been happening to a lot of us. So I want to keep the content going, keep the content flowing. I'm not in the ad network. I'm not in a major podcast network or anything like that. I don't have any sponsors. I'm looking for sponsorships. So in the meantime, I'm going to need your help. You could donate a little as a dollar a month. That's only $12 a year. $2 a month. That's only $24 a year to the Patreon account. And I'm going to give you exclusive content that nobody else is going to get to see. Thank you for all your support. The link is in the description box for the Patreon account. Peace. Doggy Diamonds, no filter.